with Luna Month Creations and I am back and I've got my magical folk for January 2022. No, this ain't right. <laughs> December. This is December. They mail their boxes out the end of the month. Today is January. Is it January 1st? Yes, today is New Year's. <laughs> I took a nap and I woke up and I don't know what day it is. <laughs> All right, so if you're new to, new to my channel, y'all, I get confused really easily. I'm a night shift worker and I never know what day it is. I'm trying to be a day shift person right now so I can hang out with my boyfriend. And it's got me all jacked up because I'm not used to being awake during the day. So, hi guys. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Lisa. Welcome. On my channel, I like to do witchy subscription unboxings. This one's from December. As well as one self-care subscription box, tarot, and oracle deck unboxings and reviews, plus witchy stuff that I'm going to be adding. Okay. This is the December box for Magical Folk. It is the... So, we're doing the um, Shadow Path of the Divine Feminine actually says it right there and this is Lilith so last one was Sekhmet the one that I missed was Hecate like I'm upset about it and I don't see that there's a box anywhere so all right let's dive into the Lilith box I'm going to read this um, this insert that's right here. It says, Shadow Path of the, of the Divine Feminine. Let's see if I can speak English. The Shadow Path is a deeply intimate journey. What is more intimate than exp exploring our innermost hopes, fears, wounds, and areas of growth? The series intends to combine the magic of myth and the light and dark of the Divine Feminine archetype. Together, they offer a look beyond the facade into the shadow aspect aspect shadow aspect of the goddess as she hews a path inward for deeper exploration of the inner self the intention was to lead you through the different shadow traditions with honor and authenticity giving all a chance to connect with their unique past present and future whether guided by ancestral energies or a personal sense of alignment the rituals offerings and prose are mindfully crafted to foster a personal connection to the goddess as a means up. as a means where was I at shit oh man I lost my spot I should never move things <laughs> okay uh, connection to the goddess as a means of building a more intimate profound understanding of self you are encouraged to be fully present in your senses Simulating your experience, uh, excuse me, assimilating, not simulating, simulating, Assim assimilating, assimilating your experience in a journal so you can dictate your own path and set personal, meaningful intentions. You can be provided with established knowledge and long standing wisdom for guidance and at times structure, but ultimately you are both the student and the teacher. As a daughter of the divine, your birthright is one of receptivity and intuition. Use all your senses to navigate the shadows so your innermost self can be born of the light. Ultimately, rituals are not formula, formula like cake recipes or algebra. The objective is to avoid getting lost in the perceived shoulds of ritual and find yourself in the magic. All right. So, oh, did I get printed stuff? There is a lot of um, paperwork involved in these boxes. Um, which is super cool. Um, I'm not going to read all of this because there's a lot in here. Plus, I think that you need to subscribe. So, I'm just going to read a little bit. It says, Priestesses of Lilith embrace their power, sexuality, grief, and rage against the states, oh, excuse me, against the status quo. For Lilith's lunar cycle, we're curating rituals for awakening the primal self sexual self and shadow self to facilitate a connection to the daughter of darkness while casting spells for equality, liberty, self-acceptance and purification to promote alignment with the daughter of light. Very nice. And then, so she's got like, um, ritual tools and stuff. Um, myth and lore, journal prompts, energy attunement. Sorry, my hair is a disaster because of that nap I took. <laughs> um, there, she gave us a QR code in here for stuff. Understanding the shadow path of Lilith. There is a bowl ritual, initiation ritual, uh, ritual tools. I'm not gonna 
completely look at all this because it's probably gonna be in here. All right, what's this? Sculpting clay, keep sealed. See ritual instructions for use. So there is sculpting clay. Man, like whenever I moved, I like sold a bunch of stuff and I sold like all my sculpting clay. <laughs> I had like tons of polymer clay and like the tools to do it. I was like, I haven't used it in forever. And I sold it and now I'm like, I kind of want to use that. <laughs> okay, well, we'll see how I do with the sculpting clay. Um, let me see if I can find anything about it. Okay, probably not. Um, okay, I guess it just says the, the sculpting clay, like, the information, instruction information for the clay ball and something else I'm not going to read are in the like ritual and stuff. So who knows? Again, without me reading everything, you guys don't want me to, to read all this. Anyways, it's part of the ritual. So cool. I love a good like ritual that's already ready for me. And then we've got a uh, Magical Folk notepad, which is good for writing like intentions and stuff like that. And I had said, we got one in the last box. And I was saying that like one of those chalk markers um, would be good to write on here since it's a dark color. All right, what else we got, what else we got? Moon time ritual tea. All right, so we got that. I'm gonna smell it. I always want to smell shit. Ooh. Oh yeah. That smells good. Moontime tea. The moontime tea contributes to liberation, empowerment, and spiritual healing. Brew it for love and lost spells during your moontime rituals or to honor Lilith women or toast the creationary power of your femininity. Very nice. An aromatic blend of raspberry black tea, hibiscus, raspberry leaf, skull cap, rose, rose hips, jasmine flowers, burdock root, dong kwai, dong kwai, ginger root, cinnamon, shatavari root, orange peel, orris root, and nettles, moon time tea offers both magic and medicine. It supports women's health by promoting hormonal balance, regulating the menstrual cycle, and easing complaints like fatigue and cramping. Um, I don't have cramping because I don't have a period anymore or I don't know. It's, it, I don't know where it went. Uh, <laughs> it's not because I'm old because it just never came back. But um, this tea should be avoided by those who are pregnant, nursing, or taking diuretics, blood pressure, and anticoagulant medications. I'm not taking any of those. Some ingredients may cause photosensitivity. All right. And then there's a moon time toast. I am a wellspring of creation a fount of growth, passion, and power, a vessel of divine illumination, my womb, a garden for which magic flowers, a toast to honor the mother line, cheers to whom I am and will become, a drink to the divine feminine throughout time for all women for what they, for what they overcome. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, I was just going to say that I'm often fatigued, but not from like having a period. Okay, very nice. What is next? We have Cinnamon Rose Devotional Incense. Also gonna smell this. Ooh, I can already smell it before I put it up to my nose. Mmm, so these are, um, there's cones, and then um, it's got what appears to be rose petals. Maybe there's something else in there. I think it's just rose petals. Mmm. And also, guys, so Candace, who is shout out sister, like we're we're relative, we're not really relatives. Um, she said I look like her aunt. <laughs> I look like people in her family. She was trying to figure out if we were actually related. Apparently, we're not. I don't know. Maybe in a past life, Candace, in a past life, sisters, whatever. Okay. Um, Anyways, so Candace makes all this stuff in house. So Candace, you're a fabulous girl, making all this shit. Like what? Um, Lilith in 
sense. They say simplicity reveals the true beauty of life. Nothing could be truer about this offering of loose rose petals and cinnamon. Oh, is there cinnamon in there? Rose incense cones. Minimal yet deeply powerful, the cinnamon honors Lilith as the dragon mother, fiery, passionate, strong, and commanding. The rose elements honor the beautiful maiden and witch mother, loving, cleansing, and healing. Combined, they are a sensual, fragrant, devotional incense offering to Lilith and your shadow self. You can also burn the incense or just the petals for smoke scrying to commune with Lilith, at Lilith as both the child of light and the daughter of darkness. Very nice. It smells amazing. It's amazing. Okay. Then we have our Lilith candle. Hedge with hedge witch crafted dressed in charge black currant jasmine soy wax petitioning candle so there is the front of that and let's open it oh girl oh oh her the candle for a segment was also amazingly yummy there is a gorgeous um clear quartz crystal right there oh this smells good y'all Fudge. Okay. What is that? Okay, let's read about it. Lilith Candle. This container candle is an aromatic blend of black copal resin, rose, black currant, and jasmine. It has been expertly crafted and Reiki charged. Did you know? No, you didn't because I haven't told you. Guys, I'm going to get Reiki attuned. Um, I have a good friend. Shout out again to Kristen. She is a Reiki master and she's going to do me up. I don't really know what to say about that, but I'm excited. Okay, um, <laughs> where'd it go? It has been expertly crafted and Reiki charged to align with the mystical, sexual, per sexual, powerful residents of Lilith, the goddess of the dark moon. During your rituals and spells involving the morning star, the candle's energy will purify and protect, creating a sacred space to commune with the goddess and your most authentic self, illuminating repressed wounds, truths, and powers the alchemy of the candle is one of self-awareness self-love and self-liberation it smells so good oh my lord okay what else now we have does that say owl hedge with hedge oh, i don't know why i can't say that hedge witch crafted owl oh it is owl which is flying bomb gem and botanical infuse magical Folk, apothecary, ritual, wellness. Okay, so there's that. Like the words are very small. I couldn't really see. Said. Okay, and again, you know, it's just a clear. And it's probably not like scented or anything. Okay, so it says owl flying bomb. Lilith sought guidance from the owl and took flight on its wings. The owl flying bomb infused with fire heated cedar, white sage, and crystallized black salt. That might be what's on the bottom there. Um, will guide you into the shadows for transformative wisdom delivered by Lilith and the Owl Spirit. Burn the balm with incense. What? Burn the balm with incense during meditation. As it releases a smoky sage scent, it will connect you to portals of profound transformation, shadow work, and death work to process grief. The ideal blend for these unsure of where to begin their journey, the the Saga Saga City Saga City what of Lilith embodying the owl will lead through the darkness. What do you mean you burn it? Is is there for hedge riding, shape shifting, spirit guidance, trance, and deep meditation? Okay, anyways, I don't know. I would have put this on, but it did say external use only, so I guess you do put it on. I don't know. Candace, what? You burn it. I'm confused. Okay. All right. Next up is this sachet with some yummers in it. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Let me try to get this open. <laughs> Open in the bag. You guys are just sitting there watching me open the bag. Okay, there's two goodies in here. First, we have this beautiful little vial. It 
It's got a nice sigil on it, and it looks like we have jasmine rose petals and rose quartz in there. Cool. And then we have Alchemize Wound Wart Rose and Myrrh Scar Oil. Oh! Jumin Botanical Infused Healing Wisdom, Emotional Recovery, Emotional Balance, and Scar Therapy. Like real scars or like mental scars? I'm going to smell it. Because I got some real scars. I've had a couple surgeries. It doesn't really smell like anything. I, except it's right up in my nose now. Okay. Alchemize Wound Wart Rose and Myrrh Scar Oil. The Alchemize Scar Oil is truly transformational. It not only supports the healing of emotional wounds, the skillfully crafted oil is also a skin nourishing scar treatment. Thank you. Did you see that crazy face I just made? <laughs> I've, um, I don't know if you guys can see. I've got scars on my hands. I've had carpal tunnel release. And then I also had, um, I have a scar like in my groin area. I had a infection that we weren't sure what it was and I had an inflamed lymph node and my doc went in and cut me open, had to create a hernia y'all because it was deep. Like my, my uh, lymph node was like very deep underneath my muscle layers. Popped it out, sent it for um, pathology and it ended up being cat scratch fever. So there you go. Um, so I have a scar there. So anyways, and I also have one scar from my middle son. Thanks, bro. <laughs> I have one stretch mark. I'm, and I'm sorry that I'm a total dick for saying that. But I literally have one scar that is over my belly button because he went way far out <laughs> when I was pregnant with him. So anyways, cool. Okay. Uh, honor the scars on your heart, psyche, body, and the stories they are wrought from. So I just told you guys the story of some of my scars. <laughs> Transmute your pain into self-acceptance, empowerment, and growth on your path of liberation and healing. This soothing protective blend of coconut, carrot seed, rose hip seed oils, rose and calendula extracts, vitamin E, myrrh, and rose essential oils, and wound wart herb. I've never heard of wound wart. Okay. Should be spot tested before use. Essential oils may cause photosensitive reactions. Okay. Awesome. And I wonder if it says anything about this guy. Um, okay, it just says instructions and information for the clay ball and the glass vial of rose, jasmine, and rose quartz can be found in the provided rituals. So, again, I feel that you need um, to subscribe to get the rituals. Um, I can't remember what the next box is. I actually, um, Candace, listen, I, I canceled it because I was trying to uh, get my money in order because I was paying off bills. I'm going to resubscribe. I just need to wait until I get some money from my shop. So if anybody wants to buy something from my shop, then I'll resubscribe to Magical Folk. <laughs> That's a shitty plug. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> but Candace, don't worry. I was not giving up on you, bro. Or, or girl, sister, sister friend. Sister, I was going to say sister wife. That ain't true. What? I don't share my boyfriend. Okay. I'm going to stop talking. It's 10 o'clock. Um, <laughs> I'm being super special right now. Guys, that is it for our Lilith Shadow Path of the Divine from the Magical Folk. It is a series that she's doing for the um, winter months, the shadow um, aspect of the year. And again, I can't remember what our next goddess is, but I better get on there and actually order it before I freaking miss out. I don't want to miss out. So thanks, guys, for watching and listening to me ramble like crazily and nonsensical. Um, I would love to hear what you guys think of this box. If you wouldn't mind giving me a thumb up, thumbs up and a comment below what you think. I don't know what my favorite part is. Um, like I said from the last box, I'm really excited about like the ritual and all the information that she sent us so I can use all these goodies for that. But um, everything smells amazing. This candle, ugh. I, Candace, your candles are great, girl. And I'm excited to maybe get this going on my scars, y'all. Like, not that I give a shit. You know, I've had these scars forever and I don't even care. But it'd be fun to see if they work. So, um, ooh, I wonder if they would... Would they be good on tattoos when they're healing? I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe you shouldn't do that. Don't, don't do that unless Candace says it's cool. Anyways, all right, I'm going to stop talking, guys. Thank you for tuning in and listening to me ramble. Um, and if you guys are not a current subscriber, I don't know that you want to now after listening to me be crazy. 
Um, but yeah, so this is how my videos usually roll. If you are a subscriber, thanks for um, hanging in there with me. You guys rock. <laughs> Uh, and you guys, of course, I am over 500 subscribers. Yay, me! And I'm going to be doing giveaway. It's coming very, very, very soon. So stay tuned for that. And until next time, guys, have a great day. Bye.